Hello, I'm Jeff Sterling of Hollywood Subakdo. So I'm going to be showing you now a 360 degree jumping spinning back kick. So it's different than a 180 back kick. And it's similar though to what I explained to you earlier of uh, the uh, flying side kick. So it's usually a technique that's done on the run, on the move. Because what you're going to do is while you're running, you're going to plant one knee upward and you're going to lift, lift it into your chest. And that's what's going to spin you around. So you spin and throw up the kick. So a good drill to practice this is just getting used to getting that 360 spin in. So what we want to do is be back. Again, you can probably pick up, like, because you're just doing one step to get the momentum to propel you up in the air to do a 360. You can lift this leg up and spin around. So you can lift this leg up here and spin around. So that was a 360 right there. So you do that a bunch of times, get more confident until you uh, add a kick to it. So, uh, just to demonstrate with that step right now, do this way here, back, and go. <clears throat> throw the leg out. So, it's a lot easier to do on the move, like I said, while you're running, because you can use the energy of you running forward to getting you up in the air, spinning, and hitting. So, to show you the effectiveness of the power involved with the jumping spinning back kick, I'm going to show you on this bag right here. So, you're going to have like a runway, because you're going to run and get a lot of energy. The key is to uh, make sure you have your footing right of what foot you're going to plan off of and making sure while you're in the air, turn your head around very quickly to see your target. And that was a jumping 360 degree back kick. Thank you very much.